Hello everyone. Um, welcome to Lean Sci Two Hundred One. Uh, this is the third recording. Yeah. Um, I hope my English is clear enough to you guys. Um, actually, I'm not that competent. Um, I'll try to make my English as clear as possible. So, uh, actually, whenever I upload the recording. Recordings to YouTube. Um, I'll check the auto automatic caption function of YouTube. You know, you can upload a recording, and the YouTube will generate the subtitle for you automatically. Uh, based on ba uh, based on the uh, the recording it has. So I'll check the caption to see. If the cache, if the caption appears as what I meant to say, to see um, if my English is understandable for YouTube, but sometimes it, it does not uh, get what I tried tried to say. But you human beings, uh, I think you can understand better than the machine. So actually, this automatic cap automatic caption is one of the uh, field that is related to uh, linguistics, specifically computational linguistics. But there is not a pure theoretical linguistics. There are some statistical stuff going on there, and also some computer science. Okay, let's back to the the topic that we are going to talk about. So actually, this is uh, this is not we can informally talk about linguistics now. Um, so linguistics is defined as a as the scientific study of human languages. Actually, this definition is very interesting. Because the word scientific. Um, for example, um, if um, I think this is the feature that linguistics is a very young science. For example, when you think about physics or chemistry, you you will the the question about whether this subject, this discipline, is a science or not, you will not. You will never think about this because this is not the issue. Chemistry, physics—they are absolutely science. However, for, however, for linguistics, linguists, linguists just keep emphasizing this: we are a, a scientific study of language. Okay, so this is some, some something very interesting. Um, and also, it show uh, there there is a uh, take home take home message of this actually. Um, linguistics is a very young science. Um, for modern linguistics, has only uh, is about fifty years old, um, half decade, and it's growing science. It means that uh, you don't need to be super smart to be a good linguist, because there are not as many people in this field, and it's growing. You know, in Taiwan, uh, there is no major in linguistics for undergraduate. You can major in linguistics for graduate uh, school, but not for undergraduate. I think this is true for many countries as well. Yeah, so it is growing and it's young. So if you are thinking about being a, being an academic, linguistics would be a good choice, I think. Okay, uh, and then we are going to talk about the real content. Okay, here's the real content, uh, set one point one. What linguistics is and isn't, and this is just the part one. Next time, 
we're going to talk about the same topic. Okay, and as usual, you are going to do an in class exercise right after this lecture. Uh, you are going to do in class exercise set one point one. And uh, let me remind you that you should uh, start to do the first reading. Uh, even though I'm still working on the reading quiz, but you may want to get ready as soon as possible. Um, and I'm grateful for Diana Ohala. She uh, gave me some, uh, she gave me, she gave me the permission to use some of he, her material. Um, we can begin by talking about what linguistics is not. Okay, here uh, is a list of interesting questions. However, these interesting questions are not in the field of linguistics study. So how many languages do you speak? Can you translate this for me? What is the proper usage of something? What is the origin of some word or some phrase? What do you know about the language of some non-human spaces? These questions may be interesting. However, they are not in the, uh, in the domain of linguistics theories. Okay. Um, let's talk about what, then what exactly is linguistics? Actually, this is a, uh, a hard question. Uh, there is no single, simple, and correct answer to this question. Kind of weird, right? Okay. Um, however, there are some, because uh, different camps of linguistics would have different answers for this question. Uh, however, there are some common ground. Some there are some common ground for every linguist. Linguist. Okay, so linguistics will be the study of the links between sound or sign and meaning in naturally occurring human languages. So we are study the links between sound or sign and meaning, okay, in a scientific way. Um. Yeah. Okay. So. Um. I want to share. I want to tell you about this different definitions of linguistics. Um, however, we are going to take one of this for this course. Uh, I just want to let you know um, this is not a simple question and there is no simple answer. We just need to take one position. Actually, there is a book, uh, Linguistics Words. This book talk about talks about the the words that different camps of ling linguists have with each other. They are fighting with each other to argue for what real ling linguistics is. Okay, so for CAS and postal linguistics, is much is very like math. Is a formal science, and linguistics uh, has nothing to do with thoughts, thoughts or human mind. Okay, this is the first camp. The second one, Lakoff and Chomsky. Um, they both agree that linguistics is is very much concerned with mind. Okay, and that is an empirical science. However, these two person, these two persons, disagree severely on many specifics, including 
but is but it is to be an empirical science. Okay. And the other one, Ross, Mike Crowley, and Jack Kandorf. Uh, they are also in the empirical science camp, but they have some different they have some different opinion uh, from Lakoff and Chomsky. Okay. So there are different answers to this question, what is linguistics? However, um, our answer for this course is uh, we're going to take Chomsky, Chomsky and generative camp. Okay, what is this? So, um, so what linguistics is, this is our position, okay. So linguistics is an empirical science. It means that it makes falsifiable claims and, cl uh, and it makes predictions that can be tested against observable facts. Okay. And the study of linguistics provides some particularly vivid examples of how culturally accepted opinion about language may be seriously misguided, and how a more careful examination of linguistic data can help us come to a better understanding. Actually, we are going to talk, about, we are going to talk a, a little bit more about this, uh, some um, misunderstandings about language. Okay, so we are going to take this position uh, Chomsky and generative camp. Uh, um, so we think linguistics is an empirical science and it has something to do with psychological reality. It means that it, re it reveals something about human mind. So here's a, the quote from Chomsky. Language is a mirror of mind. So we can see something we can find out the secret of human mind by examining human languages. Okay. Okay, here are some examples about, uh, here are some examples of uh, empirically not falsifiable claims okay we got three statements um however we can just look at the first guy here these three statements show show the same point uh, the first one an alien space spaceship crashed in roswell new mexico this statement is empirically not falsifiable why this is the case um because um, if this statement happened, happens to be wrong, if this statement is false, can we find evidence to, can we find such evidence? The answer is no. Okay, the answer is no, nope. Um, if this statement is false, all we have is the absence of evidence. It means that, um, we can f find no spaceship parts. Okay. Um, the people who really believe in this statement can always say uh, the government hit all the all of the spaceship parts. Right. Um, so this is the first type of non non falsifiable claim. Um, Okay, and the second type is logically not falsifiable. Okay, so there will be two subtypes. The first one is circular argument. Okay, if you say a claim like P because of P, for example, you can say John is smart because John is smart. This statement would be not falsifiable as well. Okay, the other one, the other example, a tautological statement. For example, we can make a state statement like P 
P or not P. So we can say John stays at Tucson or John does not stay at Tucson. So this statement will always be true. And thus it is not falsifiable. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is the end of this, this lecture. And the last time we are going to talk about oh, more about what linguistics is. And remember to uh, finish the in-class exercise. Thank you. See you next time.